Spartans three of five in third down conversions tonight. Coons has a man down the sideline and it's intercepted, picked off by the Pirates. Able to get his head around, what a play. Evans will remain in as the running back and again Evans will get it trying to pick his way through he does across the 20 Evans still on his feet down to the five and they are going to mark him at the one yard line Xavier Evans lost possession of the ball to the ground and that's the most important part of the catch Moultrie picks up the first down again zealous to the air another reception down the middle has a man Tight ends have not been targeted here in the second half. And the handoff able to get through. Here comes Burris. Burris with the first down and then some up across the 45 to the 46. And points. Handoff to Burris. Burris on his feet across the 30. Finally out of bounds. Butch remains in. Callis to the air, has a man, and wouldn't you know it, it's a tight end touchdown. The second for TK Paysan. Going to the inside if there's no help on the inside. Paysan, two touchdowns on three receptions. And Paul Woods, he was Ellis' favorite target last week in the Brick City Classic. Five receptions, and here they come busting through. It's Butts. Butts is going to take it to the house, and Hampton is back. Darren Butts yards, just kind of up the gut good blocking at the point of attack you got to break a tackle the first guys your responsibility if you're the running back and then you just hey it's to the house you do this as an elementary school kid He's benefiting them right now zealous with the ball in his hands he lets it go on the crossing pattern to Burris the running back he's got good yardage inside the 25 picks up another first down Burris, the running back, to the left of Zealous. Burris takes the handoff, comes straight ahead, sheds tackles at the 10. It'll be first and goal for Hampton as Elijah Burris goes down. And where you can improve, but you're looking to add some things to your offense, add some things to your defense, and looks like that's happened for Hampton. First and goal, Zealous keeps it himself, sidesteps a couple of tackles, and dances his way into the end zone for the first score this afternoon. A touchdown run by Chris Zealous. Just no problem, but it was a one-on-one -on -one tackle. He just misses it. Zellis gives him the dead leg, cuts the side, gets into the end zone. Starts here and there. Snell Sire to Isaiah Wilson, and wow, does he get pancaked by Darren Burton. Butts is the running back to the left of Zellis. Zealous keeps the ball himself, has plenty of running room. The first down and much more. Drags tacklers with him inside the 30 and down to about the 27-yard line. Third and five. Zealous tries to go to the air, sidesteps a sack in the backfield, throws long downfield, and Copeland makes a diving catch inside the Spider 35-yard line. Great catch by Copeland at the 31. But a big play for the Pirates in Richmond territory. Zealous on the run, has an open receiver again, and again it's Copeland. He has been the favorite target this afternoon in the red zone. Zealous flips it out of the backfield. Pass is caught by Burris, makes a great move, putting his foot in the turf, and is able to dart down to the one-yard line where it'll be first and goal. Still want to watch Zealous on the keeper. Nope, they oh. handed it off and walking into the end zone is Tymere Robinson. The Parker, uh, uh, Bryce Parker right there on the goal line. He's going to lose that every time. Makes the tackle there. Give him four, call it second and six. They're right up on the ball. The handoff goes to Burris, and there he goes straight up the middle of the field, across the big red spider and into Richmond territory. Spiders weren't ready at all. But at the spider, 46 now. Zealous quick pitch to the near side Kamari Gray with the catch and down the sideline inside the 30 and down to the 29 before Angelo Rankin makes an ankle tackle. Hampton knows where they need to get to be in field goal range so they're taking some shots. 
And is that one caught? That did is. he get a foot inbounds? He Kamari did. Gray again. And he makes the catch. A couple of, a couple of plays earlier, throw the ball away. Don't take that sack in that situation. But here comes a big run for Elijah Burris. And look out. This is what he can do. And he does it again. All the way into Richmond territory to the Spider 43-yard line. On Fitz and the Spiders. Zealous crossing pattern complete at the 15 yard line. Kamari Gray. He'll run the ball here and no one's going to touch him. He's going to go into the end zone easily from 16 yards out. Can't do it much better than that. There is a flag down close to where. Wow. Zealous was running. I'll be honest with you, Chris. He didn't need that block. About 100 below their season average. Now we still got another quarter to go. And there goes Butts again to the outside. And he's got more green turf in front of him. And he's getting rolling down to the Spider 45 yard line. Third and goal. Zealous oh, for open. the end zone wide open touchdown Dorian Moultrie there had to be some confusion on the back end might have been a little bit little bit of a pick but you're not gonna get that call when you see right between the clock and the score Coleman to throw over the middle to De Janeiro at the 35 to the 30 tried to hurdle a tackler and is brought down at about the 25 yard line good looking play Zealous stays on his feet, goes into the end zone for what could be a game clinching touchdown for the Hampton Pirates. The brick house in the, the home of the Richmond Spiders. Missed tackles there, he gets into the end zone, drops that shoulder, he wasn't going to be stopped. With his first Spider action. Looking for six here. But it's going to be intercepted. Stanley Garner, his second interception of the game. 204 on the ground and counting. Butts, look out. Darren Butts, the midfield, and he will just glide out of bounds at the Spider 45 yard line. For Richmond, 256 yards also. It's. Oh, it has 65 yards rushing per game. Here's Butts, big there hole. Is, he is. gets tripped up and gets a first down, though, before getting taken down. And they'll mark him uh, at the 35-yard line, so good pickup there for the Pirates. To the left. Give to Burris, straight ahead to the right side. Gets breaks the tackle. He's I got some room. 30. I think he's going to 35. He's got the 20. He's, he's going, going to go all the it. way, or is he? Gets in, in the, the end, end zone. There. Is he in there? Touchdown, Touchdown. Yes, Pirates. Sir. Yes, sir. What a big burst Woo. there. What a play. A 45-yard touchdown run on third down and three from Elijah Burris. Pirates strike first. So Butts and Burris in the backfield with Zealous. And it's going to be Butts Got coming near, lead. near side. Up. Oh, what a great block by Excellent Butts. Excellent run by oh Burris. Excuse me. Burris with the run on the Butts block. Wow. Woo. Yeah, I might fake it to Butts and they hit a slant route here. Yeah, no, well, play fake. And Zealous is. throws towards touchdown. the end zone like you predicted. Wheel route caught. Touchdown. And they get it in there. Touchdown. <laughs> Touchdown, Pirates. Good call, coaches. Evan King pulls it in. The yeah. tight end, the backup tight end at a Tinley Park with the TD. His second of the season. Two receivers to his left, one here on the near side. And it's a gift to the right. Butts. He's got a 50, 40, 30, 20. Stutter step stays on his feet and goes out of bounds at the five. Big run, though, from yeah. Butts. Give Trap. the Butts, touchdown. left side, touchdown. Bust through there. <laughs> Darian Butts from Suffolk, Virginia. He is eighth in the CAA in rushing per game and has his fourth touchdown of the season. Zealous claps his hands. Now he's going to run straight ahead. Quarterback draw. He's got the 35 and taken down to the 40. So big chunk play for the Pirates. Give Butts. They're still running it. He's got a big one. 40, 45, 50. And why not? If you're going to run it like that, he gets out of bounds oh, smartly. Oh, throw a flag over right there. Right the 47-yard line. Uh-oh, we got hey. players going over there to protect their yeah. teammates. But Butts next to him. Back to pass. 
He's got time. Go loads it up towards the end. He's got a man open. Touchdown. Touchdown. What a pass. Yeah, that's a great throw. Beautiful throw. Great location. Great throw. Excellent pass, and that's a touchdown Beautiful. with 58 seconds left. Now, obviously, the onside kick is going to be coming up as that is uh, caught by uh, Jaden Wimberly for the TD. Give us to Butts. Dangerous in the open field. Trying to answer the run from Sheridan. We'll step out of bounds shy of midfield. That should take us to the end of the first quarter. Draw play. Goes to Butts. Runs through a tackle and gets a first down. He ran right where there was a hole and good explosive speed by Darren Butts to keep the drive alive. There's that option look again, and Zealous this time will get into the end zone. It's a good option right there for Hampton to, to really, hey, you know what, let's just get back to neutral, get back to the beginnings. Hampton, two-yard touchdown run into the end zone for the first time today, Chris Zealous. He beat this wide receiver to the down the bottom of the screen here. Maybe I think they may Maybe have some movement on that line. I think, and there it is. There's the playoffs. Get up and get the ball. Lewis get the ball. looks tie like goes, he's picked tie off. Goes to the receiver. The tie goes. That's right. There you said, coach. Both the receiver and the defensive back had their hands on it. Absolutely. On second down and two, they go right back to Robinson. A big burst across midfield. There goes Robinson across the 30-yard line, and that is the biggest play of the day for Hampton. Boy, was it needed. Sells, claps his hands a second time, handoff. This is our fourth running back, and he's just as good as all the other ones. Big run, number 31. Jaquan Snipes off a left guard, gain on the play, 20 yards, first down, Pirates at the 15. Second and long for the Pirates. Sellers claps his hands, gets the ball, pass, man wide open, complete. That's Copeland. Close to, oh, counter first down, gain of 16 on the play. Tight end resets, fake handoff, looking for that tight end on a wheel route. Oh, great pitch and catch. Can he stay on his feet? He does, but he's out of bounds. Great throw. We've seen Snipes a couple times on third down. It's just zealous with a great play fake. He breaks through around the left side. Gain 22 on the play. First down. Starting quarterback being the third leading rusher, but he's really good at it. Close to 400 yards this year. Pass on the fan. He finds the guy, breaks it open. Can he go all the way? No, just barely pushed out of bounds. Wide receiver Tyler Thompson gets the play call from the sideline. Looks one way, looks the other way. Finds the guy in the middle. Good pass, right on the money. It'll be short of the, of the down to gain. He needed 20. He got 19 on the play. The free catch spot. Zellis claps his hand twice. Straight hand off. Breaks it. Great run. Elijah Burris founds a hole. Off left guard, gain of 12. First down, Pirates. Zealous was tackled at 102. We're at 34 seconds now. They burnt the whole 40 second clock. And now they throw? Nice catch there. Well, that worked just fine, I guess. That was Paul Woods with his first catch of the day. Gain on the play, enough for first down. All right, after the penalty. Zealous looks, throws it. It's caught on the deflection. Number 30, Gregory Featherstone tips it to Hampton. Touchdown, Pirates. Zealous finds Kamari Gray. Touchdown, Pirates. A little play there. Look at the replay. Look how the receiver is able catches to. Catches it. Doesn't catch it. Doesn't catch it. Doesn't catch it. He got it. The ability to retain focus. And now it's a little warm. Playing on Asher Turf can all add up. Zealous hits the tight end on a scene pattern. Big gain on the play. First down, Pirates. Evan King with his third great catch. This time right up the scene. 
for a and and make a and have to take advantage of the low possessions they They've have. They've thrown well. They've passed well. They just haven't taken done the right thing on. I believe that is a catch. <laughs> I mean, four red zone trips, and they haven't converted. I mean, they haven't converted four red zone trips today. You're right. Pass, caught, touchdown. T.K. Hayson. Hayson with a big grab earlier, two plays ago, and now he finds pay dirt. Probably the easiest touchdown you could have, just a little toss and catch. Here's the play, fake to the 44. World's easiest pitch and catch. a &T was kind of looking like they were just kind of packing up the house. And with a quick strike, they're right back in it. Good kick. This will be the second back. And, uh-oh, we're gone. This will be 97 yards to the house. Wow. That is Ramon Copeland untouched, unbothered, and with six in his pocket. Touchdown, Pirates. We talked about the importance of special teams, and we were talking about penalties, but this Hampton team, you look at the replay. I mean, untouched. Nobody but the kicker to beat. And that was the easy beat for an athlete like Copeland. And I, wow, I mean, what a change here. It's kind of going back and forth here at the kind of midpoint. We've had to shorten the game up quite a bit. Exactly. Handoff. This is number 31. Jake one snipe. We've seen him a lot in the second half. That's a well-designed play, a little inside trap. Gain of 13 and a first down here on Homecoming. You're watching Flow Sports. I'm Dave Strickland. Sweep. With Kyan Nickelberry on commentary. You heard him call the sweep. Coach Nickelberry had the right play call. First down for the Pirates. So it's the same thing with Hampton in the first half. Yeah, they're right at the end of the first half. You're right, exactly right. Keeper zealous. That'll probably do it. Great call. Very safe call. Let no one else touch the ball besides Zealous. He gains the first down on the play. They blitz. Read option. Burris breaks free. Touchdown. No. A late touchdown saving tackle. Penalty from where Keenan went out of bounds. Here's Robertson flushed out of the pocket, roaming to his right, and he's going to be brought down behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to be a sack for Hampton. Three receivers to the right. They're going to keep it on the ground, and they're going to get some good yardage on the ground. The question is, are the Hampton Pirates going to score on this play? Good angle there for the main defense. And finally, taken out of bounds is number 22 for the Pirates. That is Darren Butts. Here's a handoff. It's going to be Burris. He kicks it to the outside, and he trots into the end zone. Touchdown, Hampton. They get that one off with one on the game clock, or the play clock rather, and Burris goes all the way uncontested, untouched. Breeze, kind of a cross wind here at Alphonse Stadium. Here's a fire over the middle, and it is caught, and it's going to be a first down for the main Black Bears. So Zealous, the quarterback, gives to Burris, and there he goes across midfield. Head on a swivel, looking to avoid some Black Bears. Now with some blockers in front, still going. And that is the second very long run. Yeah, that is a big offensive line. They are running behind as well. Zealous is going to take it into the end zone. So Zealous gets the Pirates back on the scoreboard. They don't waste any time. Very quickly. And as good as the running backs are, Zealous just has a nose for the end zone. Eighth rushing touchdown of the season. 18th overall combined touchdown. Get those hands out another two or three inches. Now back to the run game. Here's Burris. Here's another long run. And this one could go all the way. Burris ahead of the pack to the 10, the 5. He is in. That is a 75-yard jaunt by Elijah Burris and Hampton again just showing the prowess finding that little seam and just smokes right through the main defense and no one was going to touch him there's no one that can get the afterburners of that young man Burris in for six two and nine last year two and six in the CAA in 2022 
Downfield, Zealous fires, and Copeland's got it. Some hand fighting there with Abdul Stewart. Copeland won that battle, and he holds on to the football, and suddenly it's a one-score affair again. Zealous looked left now, tucks it under the right arm. Heading down the sideline, he's got the first down and a lot more pushed out of bounds close to the 20. 9.22 left. Zealous. Little quarterback draw here. He's got some running room. Zealous still going and finally brought down inside the 10 yard line. And you got to think they're thinking six now. And here's Burris, and he'll dive into the end zone for the touchdown. So the Hampton University Pirates hanging around here on the road against the Maine Black Bears. Third touchdown of the contest for Burris now. Up to five overall as he's doubled his total here today and then some as well. Hampton was out. Actually, beg your pardon, 14. Hampton did score a touchdown. In the third. Santana Fizz loses the football, and it's going to be recovered by the Pirates. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Handoff not smooth. Santana Fizz lost the football. Pirates right there to pick it up. Under six minutes left to go. Black Bears go back to the run. And the ball squirts loose, and it's going to be recovered by the Hampton Pirates. Tristan Keenan lost the football as he went spinning into that defensive line. Third turnover. Sellis goes to Burris. Burris slamming ahead, still going, and Elijah Burris into the end zone. Touchdown, Hampton University, and they take the lead for the first time in this football game. It's now Pirates 41, Black Bears 35. Two coming into today and put up a four spot against the Black Bears. Absolutely incredible performance for him. Coach said he was doubtful to play in this game, but he also said... As a senior, it was going to be hard to keep him out. That's Copeland in motion. Copeland gets the handoff, looks for the edge, and finds it. And he's still on his feet. First down yardage for the Pirates. Had to miss last game because of an injury. And the handoff right back to Butts. A nice cut up the middle. And it's another first down right at the sticks. And it's a first down. Pirates into Tribe territory. And they go right back to that run game. And an excellent bruising run up the middle. Jay Quan snipes. Man in motion, the handoff. Emo. A big run. First down yardage still on his feet. It's Ball's a loose. There's a fumble. And it's and Pirates ball. Emo was trying to get an extra yards, but didn't put, put the ball away. Looked like it came out. Let's see what the replay says. Ball security. 8 of 15 on the day, 63 yards. Zealous trying to make something happen. Last second, finds Copeland down the sideline. A lot of room. Ramon Copeland into the end zone for the Pirates touchdown. Nate, I just said get the ball to who? The playmaker, <laughs> You right? called it, Coach. Right, the backfield gets some matchup situations, and this kid is tough to cover. He's explosive. Like you said, he's electric. He is electric. <laughs> uh, Hampton sends the blitz. Hughes is going to be wrapped up and sacked. The Pirates get to him. Tribe have only converted three of seven third downs all day. Here's Hughes. Rolls facing pressure. Hughes still alive. Has to throw it away. Ball tipped no. and it's caught. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Zealous nope. keeps, finds the edge, across midfield to the 45-yard line, and another first down carry. Um, your gap contain, your discipline has to be there. And if you continue to give him this time, Zealous is going to pick him apart. Play action to Snipe. Zealous will fire one deep pass, is caught, touchdown. Uh, and it is Paul Woods that will haul it in. Uh, as after watching the Phoenix go big play, quick strike on both of their scores, Hampton does the same on their first touchdown of the afternoon. Robert Prunty certainly got like what he's seen out of the play action game, building off of that true constant, the Hampton Pirate run game. 
Well, so far what we've seen from this offense is they're kind of locked in right now, so Hampton's going to have to make some quick adjustments, and that is not one of them. Nope, speaking of Hampton, Jalen in the midfield uh, and into Pirate territory before he coughs it up. Christian De Silva went to the ground, but it is not going to matter. Well, folks, here's the downside. If they are in at-large choice, that takes one of the 16 spots on that opening Saturday off the board.